Brian, I called several local stores to get a hold of one of those NASA-approved ISO-certified glasses for myself. Many have sold out now and don't even know when the next shipment will arrive. While procrastinators like me may be tempted to go without a solar viewer, but eye health experts warn don't do it. Well, ten years ago now, maybe seven, I had to have a retina peel on the left eye. 77-year-old Hilda Howard is getting her retina checked, but she won't be checking out the solar eclipse come August 21st. It don't interest me. I mean, it's just the moon passing over the sun, so why should I bother with that? I mean, I know what's going on, so I'll just stay in the house like I normally do. Now on a regular sunny day, sunglasses like this one will be adequate protection, but if you're going to be wearing these during the eclipse, experts warn that you shouldn't even bother looking up. All the light gets focused right there. So if you look directly at the sun, it's such an intense, powerful beam that it will literally heat that part of the retina up and damage it. Dr. Carrie Pate with the Taylor Retina Center of New Bern says it's a condition known as solar retinopathy. You've got a picture here of the center part of the retina and the black spot and the white part in the center here would be the after effects of those dead photoreceptors right in the center if you were to look at the sun and stare at it for any length of time. And what does this damage look like? These are the photoreceptors down here, and you can see the nice line. All of a sudden, they just disappear. That's where the photoreceptors have basically been killed. In other words... So it'd be like burning a hole inside a film in a camera and taking a picture, and you just get a black spot. A black spot Dr. Pate says you can never get rid of and can lead to blindness. As for Hilda, the fanfare doesn't impress. To some people, it's a big thing. I mean, it may be a big thing, but to me, it's just something that happens every so many years. Now, Dr. Pate says if you can't get a solar viewer or the certified glasses by Monday, consider viewing the solar eclipse on a gadget. There are many services providing live streaming of the event. Brian?